Okay, we're gonna start this morning seated. Um, I'm actually gonna pivot so you can see what I'm doing, but what I want you to do is to crisscross your legs like this. So one shin in front of the other, it doesn't matter because you're gonna do both sides. Take your fingertips, lift your tailbone up. Um, when you sit a lot, it's good to know that you don't wanna sit down like and pull your, the insertion point. So you just wanna sit normally. Good, and then if you have a strap, you're gonna take it today. Nope, mine's all twisted up. We're gonna go into Gomakasana arms and I'm gonna pivot just so you can see because a lot of times this is kind of lost in translation. So take both arms up towards the sky such as this and just breathe a lot of energy into the sides of your triceps. Root your tailbone down into the ground. Good, and then bend your left elbow. I like to scoop up the elbow using the cup of the inside of my palm. And then the right arm's gonna flip, the palm's gonna face back, and you're gonna start to slide it up. Listen, this could be where you stop today. It could be like this, and this is fine. If you're able to work your hands up your back and clasp, that's great. If you need a strap, the strap's going to be thrown over the right shoulder, so it's there, and then you find some position that your hands can kind of meet in a bind. Okay, we're gonna hold this for a bunch of breaths. So, Gomakasana with your left elbow pointed towards the sky. Okay, and then I'll kind of tune you into a few things as you do this. Mm -hmm. You don't want to feel like your shoulder's being ripped out of the socket. That's not what we're aiming for this morning. Okay, healthy shoulder opening is really important to keep our upper body open and so we continue to breathe. Make sure that your chin is not jutting in towards your chest. What I mean by that is you begin to kind of restrict the breath. Keep the neck neutral. Think about the back of your head pressing against the back of your left arm. Let your right shoulder continue to slide back. Yeah. So it's almost like you're creating a little cushion for your head to rest on. And once again, if it's too intense, you kind of go with just a very loose version of this. The hands can even just be um, very far apart. So lengthen the side body, keep rooting down. Notice if you start to feel like your legs are lifting up, Good, so staying with it just a little bit longer here this morning. Let the breath flow. You can even let your eyes just shut for a moment. And rather than feeling like you're restricting yourself, allow yourself just to open, even if it's just a little bit. The last few breaths, if you'd like to begin to hinge forward a few inches, that is fine. If this is too much or too aggressive this early in the practice, just dump it, ditch it. Good. So when you hinge, you don't wanna take any round in the spine. So lengthen the tailbone from all the way through the crown of the head through the pointy part of your elbow. Pick a dristi, maybe just keep your eyes shut. Just let your body begin to feel whatever you're going to feel. Pull your torso up, bring both arms up towards the sky. Run a lot of energy through both your arms. You should feel a tingling sensation. Slide your arms forward like you're handing someone a tray. Wrap your left arm underneath your right arm. Rather than yanking down on your shoulders, lift your elbows up. Good. This is too much. You can just grab opposite shoulders and find a spot there. Lift the elbows up and breathe. I feel, see a hand waving in the camera. Hello to you. Breathe right here. Notice that your mind is probably bouncing around. Just come to the mat, just come to the space. Allow yourself to just be present for the next 60 minutes. Sweep your arms out and up. Run a lot of energy again through your arms. Like you're holding something up over the top of the head. Bend your right elbow now. If you think you screwed it up, do the opposite. Take the left arm, flip the palm, and then start to slide it up the back. If you need the strap, use the strap. If you're gonna take it very loose, you take it loose. Pay attention to your neck. You wanna make sure that your chin is not tucked. Your neck is neutral. You're drawing your belly in. You feel the coiling of your ribs. Let your left shoulder slide back into the socket and just breathe. Close your eyes and just feel. Let yourself just drift off. Start to visualize your breath, the inhalation through the back of the throat, the exhalation through the back of the throat. You start to feel a little tingly sensation, that's okay.
stick with it. If you'd like to hinge forward a little, give yourself a little bit more, lengthen first and then start to come. The second that you begin to feel the rounding or the lifting up of your lower body, back out. Keep the neck nice and neutral. Keep feeling the back of your head press against the back of your arm. Make that connection. Pull the torso up. Good. Unravel both your arms. Stretch them up towards the sky. It may feel a little funny. Bring your arms straight forward. Wrap the right arm underneath the left. If you think you mixed it up, do the arm you didn't do. Lift the elbows up. Broaden across the upper shoulder blades and feel your outer triceps hug in. Good. Unleash the arm straight up towards the sky. Draw the hands to prayer at heart center. Pivot yourself forward. Come into a tabletop position. Set yourself up right here. Stack the body so the shoulders are over elbows, elbows over wrist. Good. Curl the toes into the mat. Lift your hips and come to your first downward facing dog for the morning. Walk your feet out to find the appropriate distance. So if you're super tall, you're obviously going to have a longer down dog. If you're shorter, you might have a little bit of a shorter down dog. Your hands are relatively as wide, you're about the width of the mat. Index fingers are forward. And your feet are about hips width distance. Good. Bend behind your knees as much as you need. Ideally, we're working on getting our round out of our upper back. So bend behind your knees a little bit. Breathe your hips up off your shoulders. These look really good, everyone. Mm-hmm. Mount the hands into the ground. So your baby finger, your thumb, your index finger, use all of that. And then kind of begin to hug your outer arms in so your shoulders move away from the center line of your body. Let your head go. And then pick something to focus on, a dristy, a fleck of dust, anything, a spot on your yoga mat. And then if you can start to straighten out your legs, you do that only in the amount that you feel that you can maintain. So some of us have down dogs that always have bent knees. So you rather have a long open spine and have bend behind your knees. Stay with it. Spread your toes really wide. Draw the belly in. Feel the lift of your ribs. Let your head just kind of detach from your body. Plug down to get more energy and come back to your breath. When you feel like you're, you know, kind of drifting away, come back to your breath. Come back to the inhalation through your nose, followed by a good, clean exhalation through your nose. Roll forward to plank, stack your body right here. So sometimes you need to walk it out, yeah. Your dristy moves a little forward to the front edge of your mat, your hands press down, and we activate. Listen, if you get here and you're like, eh, I'm not really feeling this this morning, I need to modify everything this morning, drop your knees, not a problem. There's no yoga bullying. So you just find what works this morning. This is your practice. Sometimes we need to work harder. Sometimes we need to work a little less. Feel the hands press down. Feel the outer arms hug in. Draw the navel to the back of the spine. Fire up your thighs. And then really focus on bringing that weight forward. I know that helps me a lot. Onto the tippy toes extension from the crown of the head all the way through the heels. Run a little bit more energy there. Yeah. And then notice the longer that we hold, the more that we want to kind of give up or give in to the sensation or the negative talk that kind of comes in. Feel the ground, hold. Stay with this or bend your elbows in half and find a chaturanga or a supported chaturanga. Your knees can drop. Keep the neck nice and neutral and free though. Feel the hands, the thumbs, the index fingers, the baby fingers. Straighten your arms, pause. Drop your knees if it's too much. Halfway at most, chaturanga are supported. Restraighten your arms, plank. Go again, keep the weight forward, chaturanga. Less is more, everyone. Straighten your arms, plank. Two more. Bend your elbows in half, they're not doing them fast. Plank position. One more, bend your elbows, chaturanga or supported. Pull the chest through an up dog. Press actively, actively through the tops of the feet. Broaden across the upper shoulders and the chest. Look up with your eyes. 
And then from your hips, slowly up and back, downward facing dog. Look to the top of the mat. Take two big steps to get there this morning. Come to the fingertips, long spine, or your hands can just rest on the front of your shins. Exhale, fold over yourself. Root to rise, come all the way up. Sometimes you get a little dizzy, so just stand. Drag your hands to prayer at heart. Drop your arms, stand for a moment. Sweep the arms up, look up with your eyes. Dive over bent knees, forward fold. Come to the fingertips, long spine. This allows you to prepare the body. Plant your palms. Just take two big steps back to plank. Yeah. Bend your elbows in half to a slow chaturanga. Pull yourself through a slow upward facing. Point the tops of the feet down into the mat. Nice. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Start to link the movement with the breath and really slow down the practice here this morning. Look to the top of the mat. Step, step to get there. Don't even hop right now. Long spine on the inhale. Weight stays forward into the balls of the feet. Exhale, fold over yourself. Root to rise, come all the way up. Drag the hands to prayer at heart. Drop your arms. A few more just like this, nice and simple. Stretch the arms up. Dive over bent knees. Come to the fingertips, long spine. This allows you to prepare. Plant your palms. Step, step to plank. Yes, bend your elbows in half, chaturanga. Pull your chest through an up dog. Slow it down, everyone. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Look where you want to go. Step, step, or float your feet to the top. Long spine right here. Exhale, fold. Root to rise, come all the way up. Drag the hands to prayer. Sweep the arms up. Look up. Ground. Dive over bent knees. Forward fold. Come to the fingertips. Long spine. Plant your palms. You can step, step. If you feel like you can float, must land with bent elbows into a chaturanga. Drag yourself through a nice up dog. The tops of the thighs lift. Hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Good. Roll forward to plank. Pause. Yeah, hold plank. Move your eyes to the front edge of your mat. Contract the thighs. Fire up the sides of your arms. Draw your waist up. Stay with your breath. Bend your elbows in half, chaturanga. Good. Lower all the way to your belly. Slide your left arm forward, left arm forward like you're swinging, swimming, right arm back. So opposite arm, opposite leg. Good. Bring your forehead to the mat. Bend your right leg in half, grab your ankle. Good place to use a strap if you can't get your ankle, if you have a partner there that can help you. Yes. Reach the left arm and the left leg away from the floor. Turn your palm towards the right. Yeah, so turn your palms to the shoulders in rotation. Kick your right foot into your right hand. This is a half floor bow. Keep your neck nice and neutral. Lengthen the left arm and the left leg. Point your toes. Yes. Good. Then flex both feet and lift a little higher. Release. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Yep. Grab your foot. I start with a flexed ankle, but I've been doing this a while. If you have to point your toe, that's fine. Reach the right arm away from the mat first. Lift the right leg, and then give the left hand a little bit of energy as you kick up and back. Kick up and back. Think about the broadening of your upper shoulder blades, but turn the thigh down. Give a little more energy. Release. Slide the hands to the lower part of your ribs, like kind of where your belly button in between your ribs and your belly button. Hug the triceps and the biceps in. Curl the toes into the mat. Activate your legs, keep your neck long. Hug in and press to a chaturanga. Plank position, hips up and back, downward facing. Yeah. Roll forward to plank. Hug your right knee to your navel. Hug it in nice and tight and close. Get to know your right leg. Bring it a little closer. Well, uh, slide your right foot forward towards your right thumb. Drop your back knee on an angle. Keep the toes curled into the mat. Yeah. So it's on an angle, the knee isn't jabbing into the mat. Arms come up. Supported lunge. Right knee tracks over right ankle. You know the story here. Grip your right hip in. Back thigh on a strong angle. Arms come forward. Mm -hmm. 
Wrap your left arm underneath your right. If this is funky for you, grab opposite shoulders. Lift the elbows up. Just be here. So I know when you get to this pose, the nature is, is that you want to kind of yank down. So what I want you to do is pull the elbows up. Feel the right heel press into the mat. Feel your hip points staying forward to the front skinny edge of your mat. Keep the back toes curled into the mat. Fire up here, begin to float your left knee from the ground two inches and pause. So it looks like this, two inches and pause. Grip the hips in, feel the weight in your right heel. Let the thigh slide back into the socket. As you do this, don't yank down, lift the elbows up, good. Fire up from your hamstring, start to straighten your leg, lift your waist a little. Good, so you're in a crescent lunge with eagle arms. If it's too much, you drop your knee. Squeeze in, press down a little more. Sweep your arms out and up, look up with your eyes. Soften your shoulders, feel your waist grow long. Good, take another big breath in, you got this everyone. Hands to frame your front foot, pause. Keep your right foot where it is. Turn your back foot on a strong angle. I actually have to step my foot in about an inch or two to find that. Come to your fingertips. Grip the right hip underneath you. Make sure your back foot's like at a 60 degree angle. Reach your arms back like a set of airplane wings and hover. Clasp your hands behind your back if that's available. You can keep a bend behind your elbows or you could do it with straight arms. So you're hovering over your front right thigh. You're kind of in this low humble warrior. Grip the right hip underneath you. Press the outer blade of your back foot down. Feel. Steer your right hip back and your left thigh forward. Good. Anchor your feet. Start to lift your waist and your torso. Keep the hands bound. Maybe slide your right, knee, your right foot a little bit more forward so you can sit deeper into your front thigh. That looks good, Jody. Good. Now steer your right hip back, your left thigh forward and your left waist forward. There you go. Press through your feet, let go of your hands, sweep your arms out and up. Look up with your eyes, feel the ground, sit a little deeper. Hands to frame your front foot, plank position, hold plank. Good, hold plank. Bend your elbows in half, chaturanga. Straighten your arms, plank, left knee in. So drag it a little closer to you this morning. Yeah, just lift the shin away from the floor. Arms are straight up and down. Press a little more into the ground. Land your left foot forward and through. Walk it to the left a little. Drop your back knee. Remember, you want your knee on an angle. You wanna make sure your kneecap's not jamming into the mat. Be on your fingertips for a second. Good, sweep your arms up. It's a supported lunge. This is great for the hip flexor, opening up our front line. Good, bring your arms forward just as this. Wrap your left arm underneath, your right arm. Do we do the right arm or we did the left arm? Go with the right arm under. I think we did the left on the other side, but if you're wrong and it feels like you did this, it feels like my right arm feels right. Change it up, lift the elbows. You wouldn't want me operating on you. I'd be like, I don't know, did we, did we do the right side or the left side? Just kidding, fire up here, hug in. So <laughs> feel your left foot, it's good I did not go into that field. Feel the left foot pressing down, good. Hips hug in, and then start to focus slowly on lifting your right knee like two inches from the ground. Just let it hover. Lengthen your tailbone, yes, lift the elbows. And then very slowly start to fire up, fire up, fire up, fire up, and see if you can straighten the leg. One side may be weaker than the other. Sit a little deeper into your front thigh. Lift the elbows, lift the waist. Look through your arms. Scissor the inner and outer thigh. Stay with the breath. Happy Saturday. Unravel the arms up towards the sky. Yes, feel the blood flow to your fingertips. Hands to frame your front foot, pause. Left leg does not move. Turn your back foot on a strong angle. Come to your fingertips here. Get your feet, arrange them. Left hip back, right thigh forward. Arms then reach back and you pause. Just do this much to start. 
Steer the left hip back and the right side of your body forward. Clasp the hands. If you can remember what grip, give it your best shot here. Bent elbows if that feels best, or arms straight. You're hovering in this low, like humble warrior. Steer your left hip back, your right thigh forward. Keep the waist long. Press firm through your feet. Start to lift your torso. Keep the hands bound. Slide your left foot a little bit more forward if you think you have more space. Yeah. Right rib steer forward. Hands drape down the back of that right thigh. So broaden your heart open. Your throat gets a nice opening. Your gaze can go up. Steer the feet into the mat more. Let go of the clasp hands out and up with your arms. Move the energy. Regular warrior one. Hands to frame your front foot. Plank, pause. Bend your elbows in half, chaturanga, hold. Drop your knees if you can't support yourself. Drag yourself through an up dog. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Look where you wanna go. Step or float your feet to the top. Long spine on the inhale breath. Exhale, fold again. Sit into chair pose. Sit deep. Everyone's so excited in chair. Yeah. Move the weight back into your heels. Actually do this. Take your thumbs. Find that little space kind of where your hip crease is and give yourself a manual adjustment. I find this helps a lot. And then as you do that, create an up dog in your chest. Good. So really drive your feet into the floor. Your heels, your weight moves back. Keep all that, then slide your arms back up. Sit a little deeper. Straighten your arms if you can. Press up to stand. Draw your hands to prayer. Drop your arms. Here we go, guys. Slide the arms up. Sit into a chair. Dive over bent knees forward, fold, let your head just go. Come to the fingertips, long spine. This is going to prepare you. Plant your palms. Two big steps to get you back or a springy hop. So chaturanga is where you go. Upward facing point, downward facing back. Right foot forward, back foot strong, warrior one. If you've got an injury, you prefer crescent, you take crescent as another option. Looking good, Mark. Yep, hands to the floor, plank position, chaturanga. You can just skip these two, up dog. Hips up and back, down dog. Left foot forward, back foot strong. Just get in our mojo going here. Come on up, warrior one. Nice, hands come down, right back to a dog. We'll move through a variation that works for you. Nice work. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Yeah. Look where you want to go. Step or float, feet to the top. Long spine, fold over yourself. Sit again into a chair. Something funny going on in the nut house. Yeah, sit deep. Move your butt all the way back. To, yeah, like, is that, I don't know if it's a bed or a couch, but stick your tush towards it. Good, weight in your heels. The screen didn't freeze, you're still holding chair. Press up to stand, drag your hands to prayer, drop your arms. Here we go, arms reach up, ground yourself, then sit, chair pose. Dive over bent knees, forward fold. Come to the fingertips, long spine. Step or float through your vinyasa. When you get to your down dog, land your right foot forward through something like a warrior one or a crescent lunge. Come on up. Hands come down, right to a dog or vinyasa. It's up to you. Be okay with doing less, everyone. Left foot forward, back foot strong. Hands come down, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Take a clearing breath out. Plug down, look where you wanna land. Step or float your feet to the top. Long spine on the inhale. Exhale, fold. Sit into chair. Shoot up to stand. 
drag your hands to prayer. Good news, just one more. Arms reach up, sit again into chair. Yeah, these are tough when you're practicing at home. Sit a little deeper, dive over bent knees, forward fold. Down to the fingertips, long spine. Step or flow through your vinyasa. Yes, do it light though. Up dog opens you. Downward facing dog back. Right foot forward, back foot strong, warrior one. Or crescent lunge. Hands right back down to the floor. Keep it moving. Good. Left foot lands, back foot strong. Move through your vinyasa on the, on the, your warrior one on the left side. Hands come down, plank position. Bend your elbows in half of that chaturanga. Drag yourself through an up dog, broaden the throat, the chest, and then move from your hips up and back, downward facing dog. From your down dog, just land your right foot smack in between your hands. Yeah. Turn your back foot strong, cartwheel open warrior two. So take a second to kind of make sure your real estate set up okay. Your inner right thigh turns open. Make sure your right foot is facing the front edge of your mat and your back toes have a strong angle. Broaden across your upper body and your chest. Lengthen your tailbone and see where you can soften. So just reminding everyone, in warrior two, your body is up and down, it's straight. It's not pivoting towards the front leg, right? There's running a lot of energy through both your arms. Good, keep your body the way it is. Bring your arms straight forward, yeah. Wrap your left arm underneath your right arm for eagle arms. Lift the elbows up. Notice what happens here, the right thigh wants to turn in. To create a rotation, I'm rotating my right knee towards my fireplace, and then I'm dropping down. At the same time, I'm lifting my elbows up. Close your eyes and hold five breaths. Whatever you're feeling is just a feeling. Be patient as your body kind of begins to open here. Drive the right heel more into the floor. Anchor the left leg strong. Unravel the arm straight up towards the sky, like you're holding a block in between your two hands. Breathe the left ribs back and the right ribs forward, and then drop your arms back down to your traditional warrior two. Reach with your right hand, either rest on the top of your right thigh this morning, or reach down and go to the outer blade of your foot. So A variation is where we're going. One block, two blocks, arm on thigh, left arm reaches up and then slides forward. So if you're gonna take this modified, the arm's just resting on the thigh, but the shoulder is not coming up towards the ear. It's really soft and light. Left arm either straight up or wrapping forward, your bicep turns down. Okay, this is where things get interesting. Turn the right ribs up towards the ceiling. Grip your right hip underneath you. Look up with your eyes. Sit deeper. Last little bit. Good, slide the left arm straight up. Left hand's gonna come to your hip, staying close to the floor, move your block with you. Ardent from drops in a half moon. Focus a lot of attention on your standing right leg. Feel your hip grip underneath you. Your right leg is standing up and down like Tadasana. Left arm may slide up towards the sky. Look up with your eyes. Bottom ribs turn, yeah. Flex your left foot, strong. And then start to play with your arda. Maybe you need to go to the wall, that's okay. Maybe you wanna bend the top leg and take a chopasana. Reach back, grab your ankle, kick behind you, but keep turning your bottom ribs up. Maybe get lighter on your bottom right hand, come to three fingers or two fingers. Maybe the bottom hand can come to a prayer. 
before come back again. Stay with it. If you took Chopasana release, regular half moon, you're like, thank gosh, half moon. Look down, left hand to the floor, square your hips, land your feet together, pause. Good, come to the fingertips, long spine. Exhale, fold over yourself, sit into chair. Weight moves into your heels. Slide the hands to a prayer at heart. Inhale the breath, hook the elbow, turn to the right. So when you hook your elbow, use the outside of your left tricep elbow to kind of get there and hook it. And then look to the right, keep the hands in a prayer. Weight moves back into your heels, shins line up. So if you're used to just going for opening your arms, today we're just gonna do the half version of that. So keep your left arm bent in a half prayer. Take your right arm up. So the left arm is staying hooked and it's in a half prayer, the palm, my palm is like facing up towards the ceiling. My right arm is, br is breathing up and I'm looking up. My weight stays in my heels. Open the throat and the chest, last little bit. Dig the heels into the mat. If you took the right arm up, meet it back into that prayer position. Sit a little deeper. Pull around to a chair, look forward. This never gets old. Drop your seat so low that you come all the way down. I've never been so happy to sit down, right? Slide your hands right next to you, like a little in front. Lift the legs up. So this is how I've been teaching boat pose. Yes. If the hands, if your arms are short and your palms don't make it to the ground, tent the fingertips, slide blocks underneath your hands, but keep your hands touching the floor. Flex your toes. Breathe your thighs towards your chest and sit up tall. Good. So you want to take all the weight out of your low back. You want to feel this in your core. Keep your hands down. A low boat here, Ardha Navasana. So scoop out your lower belly, keep your lower back down on the mat, flex your feet, yes. Keep your hands down. Keep your left leg where it is. Bend your right leg in half. Flex both your feet, keep your hands down. Scoop out your belly more, slide the right leg forward. Bend your left leg in half, do this slow. Keep the hands down. The top leg can be up higher too. Slide the left leg forward, bend both legs in half, keep the hands down, scoop out the belly, supported boat pose, pull it back up. Press the hands down more, open up the chest, pull the collar blade, oh, collarbone open, cross your ankles, plant your palms, step or float through vinyasa or right to a downward facing dog. Take a breath in, take a breath out. From your down dog, step your left foot smack in between your hands and circle open warrior two. Warrior two. Hang in there guys, you're doing great. If I get no talk back, nothing. You could just talk back to me, I don't hear you. You could be cursing at me for all I know. Open up your chest, breathe your heart open. Pay attention to the little stuff like your alignment because it really does help. All right, here we go. We're gonna add the eagle arms. So let's bring your arms forward, straight forward. Yeah, wrap your right arm underneath your left arm. Once again, if you feel like you did this arm, you just have to bear with it. Lift the other, I'll switch arms then. Lift the elbows up. Close your eyes, lengthen your tailbone, and allow yourself to just enter the pose. Jody, breathe, uh, breathe your right ribs back and your left ribs forward. Turn up the inner part of your thigh, and then sit deeper. You got it. Rather than feeling like you're gripping the floor with every little foot butt muscle and bone, Lengthen your feet, so like spread them a little wider and create some space. Two more breaths. You get angry, I can't hear you. 
Unravel your arms straight up, straight up, straight up. Soften the shoulders down the back. Yes. Drop your arms, traditional warrior two. Reach out with your left arm. Either rest on the top of the thigh or reach down and go for the outer part of the foot. Yeah. Top arm's going to reach up or it's going to come forward. For anybody with tight hips, this is one of the most difficult poses to really do right. Grip your left hip glute underneath you. Turn up your bottom ribs. Soften where you can soften. Look up and breathe. Stay with it. Right arm up. Right hand to hip, stay close to the floor. Move your block forward and off to the left just a little bit. Ardhan Chandrasana, half moon. Play with how high you think your block needs to be. Yeah. Right hand can be on your hip. You can lean against the wall, right arm up, and then look up. Left leg is strong and it's forward. And if you get here and you're like, oh, I need a little more, then bend your right leg. Reach behind you, grab your ankle, start to kick. Slide the shoulder back into the socket, look up, turn the bottom ribs. You fall, come back to us, try again. Regular half moon, wherever you went, meet us here. Look down, right hand comes to the floor, square your hips, and then slide your feet together at the top of the mat. Come to the fingertips, long spine, fold one more time, sit into chair, make it count right here, sit deep. Bring the hands to a prayer, inhale the breath, hook the right elbow to the outset of the thigh. Just be really mindful that your whole body and waist is in turning, you're staying nice and aligned. Okay, so, Use the outside of your right tricep elbow area to really get in there. Keep that hand in prayer. The palm's gonna face the sky. The left arm's gonna spread up. So left arm's gonna open, right arm's gonna stay in the half prayer. You got it. And just see how that feels today. Keep the neck nice and long. Look up with your eyes. See if you can see those fingertips. Watch the right side of the body so that it doesn't turn. Breathe a little more into your upper, upper chest. Nice work. If you extended your top arm, bring it back to a prayer. Good. Pull around to a chair. Sit a little deeper. Dive over bent knees, forward fold. Come to the fingertips, long spine, step or float through your vinyasa. Let's keep it moving here. Good. Pull yourself through an op dog, point your toes, hips up and back, downward facing. Land your right foot smack in between your hands. Straighten your left leg strong, and then from your right shin, start to pull up into triangle from the ground up. So the right leg is forward. The back toes are turned subtly. Triangle pose. If you need to use a block, place it to the outside of your calf. That's the ideal place. Right ribs turn. Left arm extends up. No. No health form needed for today. <laughs> Real life situations happening over here. Yeah. Breath with you. Last little bit, guys. You know what I want you to focus on? Pick up all 10 toes and press the balls of your feet into the mat and then see if you can squeeze your inner and outer thighs. Lift from your waist. Now reach up more with your left arm, re-spread the toes down to the ground, and then with that anchor, pull up to stand. Good, just bring your hands to your hips for a second, turn your right toes. So I'm facing you, you're in a wide leg straddle. Your right elbow is gonna reach up, scoop up the elbow, go Makasana. If you need your strap, reach for it now. Left hand behind you, go Makasana, right elbow up towards the sky. Inhale the breath, yep. Bend your knees a lot, start to tip forward. When you come down, if your head meets the floor, that means that you need a tighter, smaller stance. If this is too much for you, dump it and just have the hands down on the ground. 
Like you did before, press your head into your arm. Breathe your left shoulder blade down your back. Keep your knees as bent as you need and move your weight forward into the balls of your feet. Nice. Mark, bend your knees like a whole lot more. Bend, bend, bend. Yeah, it's almost like a geriatric forward fold. Looks good, Sarah. Nice, Nancy. Yes, yeah, so you can even have your hands clasped around your head more like a rag doll. Two more breaths. Nice, Dara. Anchor your feet, come halfway up, pause. Come the rest of the way up. Reach your arms straight up, just like we did before. Drop them down now so they're parallel to the earth. Turn the left foot out, turn the right foot in. You're setting your legs up for triangle on the left side. Slide the left hand to your shin, breathe your chest open and extend your right arm up. You got it. Like side plank arms, soften your shoulders down your back. Anchor your feet. And then play with that little cue. Um, feel the, your toes kind of lift up off the ground and press through the balls of your feet. See if you can get a little bit more energy from your inner and outer thighs. And then replace the feet back down to the floor. Look up a little more. So it's a twist, it's not a back bend. Good, find the space that you need. Lengthen your right arm, ground your legs. Pull yourself up one more time, hands to your hips. Pivot your left toes in, yes. Arms are gonna reach straight up towards the sky. Bend your left elbow over the top of the head. Slide the right arm back, reach up your back. Go Makasa in the left arm, up the back. Inhale your breath, bend your knees a lot. Last time today, exhale, fold. If you get down there and you're like, this sucks, I'm not enjoying myself. Ditch the bind, grab opposite elbows and hang like you're in a rag doll. So we wanna take the round out of our back, if at all possible. So draw your belly in. Bend behind your knees like you would do in a down dog. And then breathe your hips up off your legs. There you go. Nice work, everyone. Let your head, your jaw, everything go. Two more. Good. Start to come up, come up halfway. Feel the feet press into the floor. Come the rest of the way up. Reach your arms straight up towards the sky. Good, bring your hands to your hips. All you're gonna do here is pick up your feet and pivot to face the front of the room. Work out your feet so you have about three to three and a half feet between them. Right hand's gonna stay on your hip. Left arm's gonna extend up. Lengthen, come halfway, steer the hip back. Have fun, take your hand to the instep of your foot. <laughs> Real life yoga. Right hand, the lower part of your back, right arm up. Twisting triangle, right leg is forward. So envision someone's got you by a strap and they're moving your hips back. Press firm through your feet. Yeah. And then look up. Broaden the shoulders, broaden the chest. Steer your right hip back a lot and then press more through the outer blade of your left foot as you twist open. Okay, stay with me guys. Right hand's gonna slide to the flat part of your back. Look down, move your block out in front of you. Back left leg's gonna pop up. This is a setup for twisting um, half moon. Revolved Arda, keep your hand on the flat part of your back for a second. Lift from your inner thigh. So it's like warrior three with your back leg lifted. Hug and grip your right hip under you. Lengthen the tailbone through the crown of the head and then look to the right. If you feel you can slide your right arm up, go ahead and do so. If not, just stay with your hand on the flat part of your back. Yeah, so you're twisting to the right, your left leg is lifted, you're in revolved Arda. Last little bit here, if you wanna add more, bend at your knee crease, you knew this was coming. Reach back with your hand and see if you can get hold of your ankle. If this isn't for you, just stay. Grip the hip, kick into the hand. The left thigh should be facing the ground. The bottom ribs turn and you look up with your eyes. Yep, 
give it a little more. Release the left leg, look down to the floor. Right hand comes to the floor, stay with me. Fold over your right leg and lift your left leg up from your inner thigh, soften your shoulders. Standing split, two breaths. One more big breath in, soften the head to the ground. Come to the fingertips, land the feet to the top of the mat. Long spine on the inhale breath. Exhale, fold over yourself. Root to rise, come all the way up. Woohoo! hands to prayer at heart, arms by side body, stand for a moment. Separate your feet about hips width distance. I find it much easier to do it this way. Bring your hands to your hips, slide your right leg back. Yeah, left hand on hip, right arm up. We gotta do the other side, yeah. Inhale, come forward halfway, steer your hip back, come the rest of the way down. This is all the good stuff, all the good stuff. Use a block, definitely. If you don't have one, hand can be on the front of your shin. Good, so guys, your spine, you want it long. Mm -hmm. Keep your hand on the flat part of your back if you're unsure. Grip your feet, grip your left hip underneath you, and then twist open. Maybe stack the left arm up. Look up with your eyes. Use the exhale breath to twist a little deeper into the pose. Yeah. Moving on, left hand comes to the flat part of your back. Do that first, look down. Move the block underneath the right shoulder out in front of you. Let the right leg float up. Think warrior three with your right leg up. Grip your left hip in. Keep your hand on the flat part of your back. This may be where you stay today. If you wanna try the left arm opening towards the sky, give that, that's the next step in the recipe. Lift from the inner thigh. The last step here is if you wanna bend at your knee crease and see if you can get hold of your ankle, Give it a go. Flex the foot, fire up the thigh, and then kick away from the floor. Try not to open the hips. And everything is neutral to the ground. Make sure you're not dumping all the weight into your right wrist. Get a little lighter. Kick a little bit more energy. Release the right leg. Yep, look down. Both hands to the floor and walk your hands closer towards your left foot and fold. Lift your right leg up from your inner thigh. Come to the fingertips, long spine. Listen carefully. Take a giant step back to a lunge. Your left leg is forward. Plant the palms down. Step to a plank. Plank position. Yeah. Lean onto your left hand, side plank, Vashistasana. Right arm extends up. Flex the feet. Lift from the bottom hip. Look up with your eyes. Stay with this. If you'd like to try something different today, your right arm, it's going to bend and it's going to slide halfway up my back, like go Makasana, but just with my right hand. My palm faces you. My hips doesn't spin open. It's staying square towards the fireplace. Grip the bottom hip in. Look up. Re-extend the right arm up towards the sky. Look down. Plank position. Pause. Pause and plank. Lean onto your right hand. Vashistasana going the other way. If you need to drop your knee, you drop your knee. Extend the left arm up. Flex the feet, lift from the bottom hip. You can also stagger the feet. You can drop the bottom knee. Left arm, if you want to add a little something extra in, bend it and walk it up the back. My palm is facing towards the fireplace. It's like a half goma arm. Yeah. Lift from the bottom hip, make sure the top hip does not open. Re-extend the left arm up, breathe. Look down, plank position. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Last little bit guys, glide your right foot forward, low lunge, drop the knee everybody. Even if you're a master yogi, drop your knee. Bring your arms up, supported lunge. This is kind of how we started. Comes full circle here in this yoga den. Hands to prayer. Inhale the breath. Hook the elbow and twist to the right. I never came to this room in my house, by the way. And now it's used all the time. Just shows you what COVID has brought to us. So you're hooking the elbow. 
like you did in chair twist. Your back knee is down and your toes are curled. Good, stay with this today. Look to the right, don't look back. Open up your right arm and spread it to the back of the mat. This is what we're doing today. If you feel that you need to lift your back knee, by all means go for it, but I'm quite happy here. If you want to, you can bend at your knee and grab your ankle, flex the foot. Try not to look all the way back, just look sideways. Keep using your outer elbow to hook that right thigh in. Three breaths. Good, let the foot go, bring the hands back to a prayer. Look down, place both hands to the floor, scoot your right foot to the center. Left knee is gonna come to the outside for seated spine twist, okay? Last few things, two butt cheeks down, right hand behind you, give the left or the right leg a little squeeze and then twist to the right. Make sure that your right foot stays down and that you're not lifting all the way up. Good, come back to center. This is what's gonna happen. You're gonna tip your weight forward for bull seat. I'll turn so you can see. Your right knee is going to come in front of your left knee. Your feet are gonna separate as wide as they go. Nance, definitely use the block here. As you start to come down, if your butt is really far from the ground, take a, a block or a cushion or something to bring the floor up to you. Yeah. Good. So Sarah with the knees, definitely sit on something. Yeah, it's not worth it. But what we're looking for is that you're crisscrossing your legs over one another. Stay upright like this, or one more time today, go Makasana arms, right elbow up. Inhale the breath, exhale, you can fold or you can just stay upright. Six breaths here. You want just as much space from your right heel to your left heel from the side of your body, just to give you an idea. Wherever you are is right where you need to be, so. Good, start to come out nice and slow. Unravel your arms to get out of this pose. Rock your weight forward, okay? All the way forward. Take your hands directly down to the ground. Curl the back toes and step to a dog and try and make it as graceful as possible. One more time today, roll forward plank. Clear it out with a vinyasa. Pull yourself through an up dog, it should feel pretty good. Hips up and back, downward facing. Left foot lands, back knee drops, toes curl, arms come up, supported lunge. Last time today. Hands to prayer, inhale the breath, hook the elbow, turn towards the left. So this can be where you stay for the next several breaths. We'll take it step by step. My right elbow is gonna stay hooked to the outer part of my left thigh, so it continues to hug in. My left arm is gonna reach back, down the back side of the mat. I'm gonna avoid looking all the way back because it's gonna round me, I'm looking to you. Stay with this. If you'd like to catch the foot and grab the ankle, stay upright. Use the outer elbow to press the outer thigh in. If grabbing the foot doesn't feel good for your knee, don't do it. Just stay like this then. Twist a little bit more. Nice, let go of your foot if you have it. Everybody bring their hands back to prayer. Look down, place both hands to the floor. Scooch your foot to the center. Slide your right knee next to your left ankle. Come down and sit one more time. Two butt cheeks down, left hand behind you, right arm comes up, seated spine twist. Inhale the breath, exhale, look over the shoulder and twist. Take another big breath in, lengthen, twist open. Good, come back to center. And I'll remind you, the best way to get into this is move all your weight forward, like come onto your knees, 
and then stack your left knee over your right. Separate your calves away from you as much as you can and then start to lower yourself back. If you get back and you're like this, block for sure. I'm gonna use a block today, I'm gonna sit on it. Pillow, anything, sit up nice and upright. Yeah, two thighs line up on top of one another. You wanna add the arm variations, it's left elbow this time, comes up, right arm walks up your back, Gomakasana arms, this is called bull seat. Inhale the breath, you can stay very upright, you can exhale, you can start to hinge forward. Depends on you. Five breaths, close your eyes. Start to come up nice and slow. Unravel your arms. Mm -hmm. Remove any objects out of the way. Take your hands out in front of you. See if you can unthread to a downward facing dog. When you get to your dog, look towards your hands. Hop, skip, jump, float. Find your way down onto your backs. Move your blocks with you. When you get to the floor, we're gonna set up for two or three back bends to kind of close up shop here. So lay down. If you're going for the block underneath your tailbone, make sure you're set up properly. Feet are about hips width. Lift the tailbone, slide the block underneath your lower back any direction that works. Interlace your hands around that block. Fire up the feet. Lift from your inner thighs. So this was a shoulder opening class, guys. If you didn't notice, Jody, bring your feet two inches closer to you. Yeah. So we did a lot of stuff to open up our shoulders, which in fact then leads to a nice open chest and heart and we can breathe a little fuller and better. Yeah, if you wanna move on, flip your palms, bring your chin to your chest, take a giant breath in and on the exhale breath, lift yourself up. If this isn't for you, just stay. You can start to lift one leg, maybe the other leg up towards the sky. You got it, steer your feet forward wherever you are. Nice work, and then lengthen from the tailbone to the backs of your knees. Exhale the breath, come down. Take a breath in, take a breath out. One more to finish it off. Flip your palms, chin to chest, giant breath in. Exhale your breath, try not to just crank up. Try and breathe from the tailbone to the backs of your knees and then come up. Good, steer your feet forward. Alignment looks great, everyone. Press down to create more space for yourself. Let your head, your neck, your jaw, everything go. Exhale the breath. You generally know when to get out. You're like, that's it, lower down. When you come to all the way down onto your backs, give your knees a little squeeze in towards your chest. It will feel good. Yeah. And then reach for the outer blades of your feet for a happy baby. Drag the knees to the outer part of your thighs. Lengthen your tailbone. And if you want, you can hook your big toes this morning and wide straddle on your back. Let the shoulders draw down the back and breath through your feet. So you want to really flex. Hug your knees to your chest one last time, and then slide into Shavasana, complete rest. It's enough work for today. Set yourself up here. I know this is the hardest part of practicing at home, but give yourself the next couple minutes to just be still. You can put on the final song in the playlist. Close your eyes. No more Ujjayi breath, just let it go.
Take a big breath in. Take a complete loud exhale breath out, like make as much noise as you need. Bring your arms up over the top of the head, stretch from your fingertips all the way through to your toes, like point your toes. Squeeze your knees slowly in towards your chest, wrap your arms around the front of your shins and hug tight. And then use the strength of your own body to push yourself up any way that you feel comfortable this morning. Sit up nice and tall. Have your hands, so you started with your legs like this. So start with your legs again like this. Have your hands this time on the tops of your knees. We're gonna do the whole sequence again. I'm just kidding. Sit up nice and tall and feel how open your chest is right now. Right, let's see if we can preserve that for at least 10, 15 minutes. Bring your hands to prayer. Bow your head with some gratitude for this time and this effort. Lift the head, open the eyes. Namaste as always. Thanks guys for joining me. I'll see you next week. I will send out a flyer on uh, class times for the holiday. I'll add some.